Welcome to Why Rush Racing, and today we're going to talk about these two bad boys here. Well, this one's a bad boy because it's well built, mean machine, and this one's a bad boy because it, well, see that wet area right there? It did in my ride early. But, so what's going on? So, this is a Myler's, uh, well, here, right here, Myler's Super Cool Radiators. You can see them at motorcycleradiators.com, I guess, there. And, uh, and so, yeah, what happened is, if you watched my last ride video, um, going along, and I uh, ended up talking about it. I didn't catch it on film, but it ended up ping ponging between a bunch of little trees. And one of those trees kind of caught my shroud and peeled it back. And when it did, well, you can see it on the flip side, it uh, it pulled away the fin from right there, caused a little pinhole leak that sprayed all over my front fork, and just on you go. So uh, that is why I am replacing this guy here. And I chose to replace it with this. So. Why this guy? Why not an OEM? Why not repair that guy? And well, I'll get into that. Uh, mainly, the reason was is because I I do race my motorcycle and I didn't want to repair because I just wanted to make sure that it was fixed and I didn't have any lingering issues. You can see here, there's already just you know it, this is not a new radiator by any means. It's been um, well loved many times over. I have actually straightened my radiators. In the past myself, I have a jig here uh, to kind of help me get things straightened out whenever they get a little unstraightened. And so, the why not OEM? Well, that came down to just money. Um, and I think this was like 200, and, I'm gonna be BSing here a bit, but I'm gonna say $210, whereas these guys here for Mylers are 150. I believe the repair, which I'll probably end up actually trying to get this repaired through Mylers is $50. And just keep that as a spare backup, just in case. You never know. Uh, I guess I actually might just guarantee you I'll get another broken radiator if I do that. Um, but anyways, so let's get into uh, whether I'm not happy from what I've seen so far. And if I think it's money well spent. And the answer to that is yes. Uh, I do think it was money well spent. One of the first things I noticed when I opened it up was the, the um, and I'm no radiator expert here, but I'm going to make up some terms. But the side frame, right? I noticed the side frame was much thicker than this side frame here, which is uh, punched sheet metal. Whereas this is a, uh, it's actually an eighth inch, 0.125 inches uh, plate. I measured with my calipers here. Uh, this here is sheet metal that's 0 0.07 inches. Now, it's not really, that's not a real true great comparison because obviously the, the bends in there does add a significant amount of strength to sheet metal. Um, however, you know, a, a solid section is going to be stronger than a folded section. So, and it folds out. So, it's but it's actually uh, like at the rib here or at the top. That fold is what uh, point uh, one point one five. Sorry, yeah, yeah, point one five five inches uh, thick. So it is slightly thicker than the solid, but in, in the end, I haven't done the calculations that I don't plan to, but, um, I would give it to this guy here as far as the, the bend resistance. The other bend resistance that it has is you probably already noticed. This is this bar here. Didn't quite expect that to be there. Um, that helps with the bending this way of the actual thing. Um, likewise here. Now I do think if I'm going to have a failure, right, it's probably not, going to be a bending of, of this section here. That's pretty stout. Uh, what's going to happen here, if you look at, you know, if history probably repeats itself, the tabs. The tabs are still going to be the weak point uh, on these, in my opinion. Uh, these will these will bend. Um, it's, you know, stuff happens. I think it'll be less resistant to bending than the OEM, just due to the thickness of the metal, but it's still possible. Uh, the second thing I noticed was that everything's welded. There are no uh, folded and crimped seams. It's fully welded um, throughout. So I was pleased to see that, assuming that the welds are done well, um, which I don't have any indication that they weren't. All the welds look healthy. Um, whereas this guy up here on the top and the bottom, those are like crimped on there. Could be welded from down it from the inside. But yeah, so. It's 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 cramped. So I would say again that the edge would kind of go to that guy there. Um, I don't know how thick this stuff is up here. You know, likewise I kind of have a good idea just because it is cramped how thick it is there. 
Um, I, I think this is thicker. It just feels, if I tap on it, it just feels thicker on this guy. Um, but again, I don't think that's going to be the weak point up here or there. I think the weak points are the tabs, just like this guy over here. Um, and then, you know, the, the everything's the same. So there isn't a lot of difference. The, the only real difference between the two is the spacing. I don't know if you can see it too well or not, but the the ribs here are closer together than the ribs on OEM. However, you know, I, I had a little debate in my head. Again, don't plan on doing the calculations, but I don't see a major advantage one way or another. Um, your cooling doesn't come from the ribs. It comes from the little fins in between. So there's, I don't know, it, 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 there's, there's a ton of fins all over. So... Um, yeah, and then so as the width goes the same, the bolt pattern is the same, the length is the same, and so I, I, I don't have ability to test it, but if we're talking about aftermarket uh, radiator braces or guards, uh, if, if I was a batting man, I'd say they fit. Um, this may cause some issues with fitment here because it, it is on both sides, um, but uh, you know, I, I don't know. So that's kind of buyer beware if you're looking at from that regard. Now, I think it would be fairly easily ground off. It looks like the weld, if you wanted to take these off, the weld's only on the outside. It's not welded to the ribs anywhere here. That'd be kind of silly. And then, uh, so yeah, you could grind those off fairly easily if, if that became an issue. So that's that now the other thing I, I was thinking about and I saw that and you know this was noticeably thicker than that one I was like well what about weight well I didn't weigh him but you know doing the left hand pick up and just handle test I will say that this guy is lighter um, it might be a pound you know so yeah it, I mean you got thicker material it's gonna weigh a little more so that's that um, but yeah, so glad with my decision. I do plan on probably sending this guy off the Mylers to get it repaired. I think it's maybe about 50 bucks or so. Um, but yeah, so Mylers, super cool radiators. I am looking forward to getting on my bike and seeing how it goes this weekend. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, click you know down there, the little WR question mark or whatever it is. Uh, that'll subscribe you to the channel or down below the video, uh, subscribe. And leave questions, comments, I'll answer, answer them as best I can. Anyways, this is Why Rush Racing, signing out. Bye.